In the middle of the Dubai desert, something revolutionary is being built. And it has the potential to entirely change the way we build houses in the near future. You can go back 100 years. Houses have been built the same way for that long a time. What we're proposing with the Future House is a new way to build and a new way to live. Floor has to be done. This is Joe Wheeler, a professor of architecture at Virginia Tech on a two-fold mission. His theory is that prefabricated modular homes are the next wave in housing construction. He plans to prove it by building a smart, energy-efficient solar home in the heat of the desert. in charge of the floors. I'm going to be in charge of cleanup ahead of them. So what we're doing with Future House is we're proposing a product that is manufactured. Uh, it involves 18 cartridges. Eight of those cartridges are the main components of the home. The kitchen, the two bathrooms, a home office wall, a living room wall, a bedroom wall. These cartridges are set into place. A spine cartridge will drop down and interconnect all of those components and tie those components to a mechanical room, which has the electrical systems. You complete these cartridge components, you wrap them up, you deliver them to a site, you set them in the place, you connect them like Legos. You've got a working, functional, smart house immediately, instantaneously. Wheeler's proof of concept comes in the form of Future House. Virginia Tech engineering and architecture students and faculty spent the past two years envisioning, designing, and fabricating a 900 square foot house in preparation for the inaugural solar decathlon Middle East. After efficiently shipping the house on five 43-foot long trailers across 7,286 miles, the lone American team is here to assemble the house and to prove it's a viable way to live and build. Final one? Final one. Final one, okay. The, the competition is kind of two parts. So there's the construction of the house and we have to finish and complete this house, but then there's also the whole contest period. So that's the things that show that our house is working and that it's the most sustainable house in the world. It's the best solar panels in the world. And so we have to do all these tasks like wash dishes, wash clothes, boil water, get our oven to a certain temperature, have a refrigerator in a certain temperature. The competition rule book itself is 153 pages long. But if the Virginia Tech team can outperform the 14 other selected competitors, they stand to show that the future of housing has arrived and that it beat the odds to get here. Well done. Woo! This has been an opportunity for us to bring to kind of the future, the, 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 the present state, decades of research, all in this house. We lost this building about a year and a half ago. We lost all of our research. And this, this team right here rebuilt this thing in six months. It's absolutely unbelievable, you guys. And I know I haven't been letting you have breakfast <laughs> or do laundry, but... <laughs> I mean, this is amazing what you guys have pulled off, so. About a year and a half ago, um, a fire um, struck one of our buildings on campus. It was our research facility that housed five years of prototypes, smart, beautiful projects, in one hour destroyed. And uh, I was kind of at a, at a loss. Uh, what, what do we do now? I remember I was like walking across the drill field and just all the tears started coming down. I was pretty devastated and then Joe that same day was like, we're gonna rebuild, it's gonna be great, it's gonna be even better. And I, remember I, was, a little, I was a little upset with Joe. I was like, Joe, stop, I wanna be sad. Like, I don't wanna, I don't wanna talk about it. I don't wanna think about what's next. I just wanna be sad. And it really was the fuel though to, to get us going, I think. It really gave us a direction when we lost everything. We were like, okay, well then we're not gonna keep with some of those ideas that we thought about. And we're not gonna keep with some of the more well, the more they're in, they're in the past, you know, like this is the Future House. Future House revolutionizes the home building process. Traditionally, workers arrive on site with materials and spend months constructing the home and installing plumbing and electricity. Instead, Future House, which took the team less than two days to erect in Dubai, 
can be packaged in easy to ship cartridges complete with the walls, floors, ceilings, wiring, plumbing, and finishes in each cartridge. But it's the home's integration of modern technology that tends to excite visitors the most. I love uh, the technology, how uh, you use everything, uh, every single place. I love uh, how the I bed. can ask for my shirt and it comes out, it's really good. Yes, it's crazy. <laughs> yeah, it's really crazy. It's like you live in space. <laughs> Powered by five solar arrays, which contribute close to 14 kilowatts of power, every room of the house is equipped with accessible and secure smart technology. Through artificial intelligence, the tech learns and adapts to the preferences of each user. Touchscreen panels throughout control the home's functionality. A drone delivery hatch in the front of the house can open and close to accept mail and packages. Overhead, a ceiling of LED lights mimic daylight and create mood lighting and can even wake up occupants in the morning based on their circadian rhythm. In the kitchen, cabinets raise and lower, an induction cooktop remains cool to the touch but hot to pans, and a faucet can pour precise amounts of water via voice command. In the bathroom, a toilet and 3D printed sink can raise and lower while the bathtub boasts a screen for watching movies. A closed loop water recycling system cuts down on water usage by 90% compared to standard showers. In the bedroom, a Murphy bed rises to reveal a smart mirror that can help you pick out and locate your clothes. The bedroom wall and living room wall can move, creating flex space that can allow for expanded or condensed office, living room, and bedroom areas. And that's not a comprehensive list of the house's functionalities. But to be clear, the technology isn't just for looks. It's to meaningfully serve home occupants, accommodating users of all abilities and ages. And that they did a lot of their due diligence on the front end to make sure that all right, these like ooh and ah features had a function. So like the smart mirror, you know, that's a big one that he'll be like, that's so lazy. What, it tracks my clothes and it kicks open a door? That's ridiculous. But as I tell the people, like, it's not for someone my age. It's not someone when they're 60s, more than likely. It's for when you are 70s to 90s. It just helps the home kind of streamline certain operations. Uh, and so a lot of these like, a lot of these functions that seem just kind of flashy, maybe kitschy on the surface, really do have a deeper purpose and function that is aimed for usability. The home's comprehensive approach helps the team rack up awards for the subcontest, placing top three in nearly every category. But what they need is a first place victory overall. In the third place, cross those fingers, the winner is In these final few moments of the competition, the solar decathlon Middle East will make or break the momentum of Future House. Beyond the desert, whether the world is ready for a modular, solar-powered smart home will be validated by a first-place finish. The lucky number two is Fariq Jami'ati Wadangang. For the odd-number lovers, the winner in the first place, and third is the first place, Virginia Tech. It took us a year. We built it in six months. It is Virginia Tech, and it is what Virginia Tech's been working on for 20 years.